Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing as Austria Hungary in the Battle for the Bosphorus expansion. So just looking at the, the large map here, seeing what's all going on, the Italians are continuing to push south into Africa against the Allies. Uh, the Civil War here in India looks like it is in favor of the Allies right now. Uh, there's another faction here, Coalition of the Free Commonwealth States. And this is, seems like a lot of the, the British countries uh, that were freed are in that faction there. And I believe that means that they're at war with the, the Allies, right? Yep. They're at war with the Allies right now. So the Allies are incredibly weak at the moment. Really just France, Britain, Ireland, the United States, a couple of little countries here in Central America that Mexico declared war on, and Burma, India, and Pakistan. So that's pretty much it. For uh, powers that are in, or countries I should say, that are in the Allies. Looks like the Japanese lost almost all those naval invasions that they did of China. And China continues pushing into Korea. So it does look like Japan's about to lose in China, but they might win in the Philippines here. Overall, Japan's having a rough time with it. So I think we're, we're going to go ahead and declare war on Bulgaria, guys. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, we need to get the war goal, but obviously that's not going to take very long. Well, I guess it took a little bit longer than expected, 125 days. All right, so it's a good thing we're doing it now. So we're going to declare war on them while we continue this war against the Italians. Uh, also, I did name uh, some of the units based on your guys' suggestions. So we have the the light tanks are called the, the Habsburg Hussars, and the mountain troops are called the Habsburg Highlanders. I guess that's the theme that we're going with in the comments here. Uh, so we do still need names for infantry. Uh, we don't have to name the cabs since we're not really going to be using those. So I'll just say infantry and then the garrison divisions. They could use a name as well. Let's post those down in the comments below. All right, so these guys are going that way. Let's have these guys go over here. Let's continue uh, getting this territory wrapped up. These guys need to, uh, we need to take these two ports to ensure that they're cut off. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys, if we can. Maybe we should just go this way. And then have this division stay here. Have both of you guys go across that river as quickly as they can here. All these guys, looks like they might be assigned to that front, so let's have them come on over here. All right, excellent. It's pushing forward everywhere. Getting all these cut-off divisions destroyed. And so far, the invasion of Italy looks like it's going to be relatively easy. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be too challenging at all. Uh, so, we've got those guys attacking there. Let's have these two come over to here. And then, yeah, let's go and try and get this territory here wrapped up as well. Alright, so we've won all there. We just want to make sure that our units are always moving forward. And it seems somebody has pulled... All right, so uh, Germany has come into the conflict. Uh, I don't think we pulled them in. They must have joined, which might end up extending this. And also, it's kind of negative because if they were not at war with all the countries we are, then they cannot uh, assume leadership of the faction. And so because they weren't at war with Italy, it resulted in them being blocked from doing this. So that's kind of a bummer. I was going to try and attempt to not pull them in because of that. But it didn't work. Uh, those guys are really weak, so we're going to attack there. Uh, let's go and get these guys pushing forward here. Although we could send... Yeah, let's just send these guys over to here. I think that's where they're going anyway. All right, so just make sure that our troops continue pushing forward into territory. At all times. All right, and these guys can go and take these coastal provinces here. And they'll go over to here. All right, excellent. And these tanks are just so quick, I should probably sign them more than one province at a time, huh? All right, and then these guys can go over this way. So we're going after Milan, also trying to push down into the south uh, before, it's gonna attack those guys there, uh, before the Italians are able to get troops over here to defend them. Remember, they do have troops up along the border here, although it looks like there's not very many. Uh, the Germans are also gonna start pushing forward there from France. So the quicker we can go, the better. Let's go ahead and move towards Florence now. Go ahead and get the, the coast as well. Cut off any troops from coming down here. Uh, let's go ahead and start working on getting these guys destroyed as well. Let them attack us there. 
And I'll just come over to this province here, and it looks like these guys, we're going to go ahead and assign them to a new front over to here. Alright, so they'll go over that way, as well as any other yellow army troops that aren't doing anything. Have those guys go this way. These two can come on over to here as well. And then let's give them a front. An offensive line, I should say. Alright, excellent. Alright, so we'll be attacking them. Coming through here, attacking up this way. These guys are cut off. Let's go and get them destroyed now. Yeah, just get them wrapped up. Still trying to destroy that one. These guys are gone. Uh, we do have a decision and some dockyards that we seized from the Italians. Uh, so let's go ahead and first get rid of this decision. Oh, it looks like it's uh, the reintegrate the empire decision. Uh, we've conquered enough territory to be able to reintegrate the imperial Austro-Hungarian lands into our empire. Let us do so forthwith. So I wonder if this gives us... Maybe we should wait. I don't know. Let's just wait a second until we get this conquered. You would think that it would give cores and all that territory whether we control it or not, but just in case, because uh, I don't know how that works. So let's just finish up here, and then we'll get those cores. BJ. It'll be fine if we wait a second. So let's go after Milan now. Let's go across here as well. Let's hurry up and get across these rivers. Uh, these guys are having success there, so we'll keep it going. Let's go and attack those guys so that hopefully we can get behind them with some other Red Army troops here. Uh, the, the tanks, I mean. Trying to wrap those guys up, and we could also do an attack right there. These guys are already cut off. There's no reason not to just attack. Alright, so let's go and go up this way. And then we'll send these troops here. We're currently training. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that they extend their area defense where they're protecting ports. We're going to have them do it all the way through Italy here. All right, excellent. We destroyed those guys finally. Oh yes, there's other things available here. Uh, we'll keep that one up so I don't forget about it. Uh, but the dockyards here. So now we have another another dockyard. We just have to put in a convoy. Remember, we don't have any ship tech yet, so we can't even build anything until we get it. Which I do want to get submarines, guys. Uh, looks like we actually yeah we finally bombed somebody. Bombed a German submarine there. Uh, so those uh, bombers were effective for the first time ever. Alright, so we're still moving over here to grab that province. Let's go ahead and have these guys push along the coast here. Just make sure the Red Army troops are always pushing forward. And these guys need to push forward as well. Alright, attacking them. They're about to be destroyed, so let's finish that up. Getting this wrapped up as well, and that will be done too. So then all the Blue Army troops will come on over to here. Let's go after Genoa now. Uh, looks like we're having some difficulty with that, so we'll go ahead and stop that. We'll go ahead and attack right there, though. And then with these Red Army troops, let's make sure they're on this front. And then let's start pushing down towards Roma. So we'll just kind of move down the coast here in Italy. Stop any naval invasions from the uh, from the Allies, if we can. All right, let's go down this way. And then let's, uh, well, let's go this way. Help them out there. Defending across the river, being pretty effective on that. Got to get that wrapped up there. That'll free up all those divisions there. Though the Red Army can go ahead and move down here now. And this guy got messed up. So I'm going to fix that. These guys are nice and fast. So they're able to do this very, very quickly. Let's go and have this guy come over here now. And we could probably go right there. We're just going to try to get as much territory as we can here. Alright, so we're defending there in Genoa. This guy could go this way. Or... Yeah, he can go over this way then. Almost got Rome, and so from there we're just going to move all the way down to Naples now. Let's kind of go all down the coast. I'm not too worried about these troops here. And we're getting more troops over here to help us out. Uh, when do we get the Bulgarian war goal? Uh, the, the Bulgarians are actually pushing forward against the Greeks. Now, some people want me to wait. One thing I'm worried about, though, is I kind of want to have them both to be in the same peace treaty if we can. Because remember, the Japanese still haven't joined... This conflict. So, 16th of October. That's going to be a while. Now, we do have military factories assigned, though. I've already set up our, our civilian factories to build stuff, so that's been taken care of. Uh, so, what do we want to get here? Let's just take a look. So, still short on the support equipment, the light tanks, and the light self-propelled artillery. Infantry equipment's looking better, but we are losing a lot every every day here. Uh, motorized is, is well stacked as well. Okay, um, so support equipment, we're almost 
almost there, guys. It's taking us a while, but yeah, we're, we're just now getting there. Uh, light tanks, I feel like we're going to need more of those, so that's what we'll do. We'll get stuff for the those light tank divisions. And then maybe also get more planes. I always can use more planes. And we're taking all these dockyards from the Italians now. Still don't have a lot, but... Oh, that's so... We need to attack from our own territory here, because this is German. And so anything we attack from there will result in that going in German hands. So attack those guys there. And... Okay, so... Portugal's joined into the conflict. Remember, they're in the Greek faction. Alright, so just pushing down the coast. I don't know how much longer the Italians are going to last. Probably not much longer. <sighs> Unfortunate for the Italians, I think they spent or sent too many divisions over to... Uh, yeah, this is clearly not going to work. Stop this. Uh, over to Africa. Uh, seven hours, one day. So we won't be able to beat them. We're just going to have to wait a second. Get our organization back up before we're able to do any attacks there. Alright, so getting all these provinces here taken. Just going to grab that one, see if we can't get there before them. Yeah, it looks like the Germans are going to end up getting all this. I'll see if I can't get it, but I don't expect that we will. It's okay, they get a little bit here. We're alright with that, guys. Alright, so yeah, these guys are pushing up over here. We're still probably going to need more organization. Go to get that done, and then we're just gonna shoot down the coast with these guys here. Uh, we do have a decision available. Oh yes, that's right. And I was waiting to get this conquered. It's done. Again, I don't think that would have affected anything, but just in case. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think that did make that on the core territory. Um, let's just double check to see if that happened immediately. And I want to say it was giving it all across here. Do you have to finish it? Is it like a decision we have to wait on? It might be. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. It's not core territory yet. All right, so we got the uh, approved computing machines. Excellent. All right, so could do more radar stations. Could finally start working on some of those naval techs as well. Uh, just mainly submarines is the, the first thing we'd work on. I suppose we can do that since we're taking all these dockyards, but really nothing to do but build convoys with them. We'll go and start working on getting some submarine techs. Uh, though, we need the basic torpedo first. Alright, so we'll get that. We have z no naval text, which somebody was commenting about how that doesn't make any sense. That, and, and I agree that, you know, just because we're a land power doesn't mean that we don't know how to make, like, you know, basic World War I ships. I think we'd be able to make a, a basic ship. Alright, so these guys are going to grab that. There we go. Excellent. So they should be coming on down to this front now. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're pushing forward. With any division. Yeah, we just can't get there. We need somebody to... Either one of the... I guess we can attack once this division leaves here. Yeah, we'll do that. Just, yeah, pushing up along the coast here, and then we'll come back over this way. Since they're being pretty effective there. Let's go ahead and continue pushing forward all through here, and now this guy can just go this way. Alright, excellent. Germans coming down here and helping us, uh... defend this front, but not pushing it forward. Got another dockyard from the Italians. It's a damaged one, though, of course. And we also are still in need of, of steel. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there's no way to get a good trade here. So we'll just have to get ripped off. Is what it is, guys. We could go ahead and move our planes. I haven't done that yet, so let's go ahead and do so. Uh, these guys are right here. So let's go ahead and move them down to this one. Just let us move faster here. I don't think we we're in that region just yet. And then over here, yeah, I don't think they're necessary there. So let's just go ahead and move them here and assign them there. And we will take them off of their assignment for now. Save a little bit on the uh, the fuel. All right, so we'll see if there's any attacks we can do here. Doesn't look like it. We can't go this way, though. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm trying to get to Naples. We just want to get our, our war score up. We'll go around this way here. So we want to make sure that we're the ones taking the provinces, if at all possible. Did Japan just get called in the conflict? Because it seems like they did. Let's take a look. Yeah. All right. So Japan is now in the conflict. That's a shame. Did Bulgaria get called in yet? No, not yet. That would have uh, helped us save some time. They could still get called in. Uh, I just don't think they would accept 
because of the fact they have no troops on the border. So I assume that even if they were to be called in, that they're probably refusing those calls. All right, so we got all these guys cut off, but no divisions that have any kind of organization for attacking. Uh, how far until the Italians capitulate? Let's just take a look, guys. Uh, looks like Ireland's being invaded as well. Maybe the Germans hit them? Yep. Germany has taken Dublin. All right, so it looks like the British Navy is having some issues. If I had to guess, it's probably due to oil, shortage of oil. How many United States is 13% storage capitulation, 66% for the Philippines here. And then the Italians are 87%. 134,000 casualties. We did 62,000 of that while taking barely any casualties. Can't even see it on here. Maybe a couple hundred people dead at most. Yeah, they have not been able to do anything to us. Which is absolutely surprising. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know why uh, the Italians brought all their troops to Africa. That was really silly. Well, not wise for them, but you know, uh, this is not the first time that the AI has put too much of a focus on Africa. Uh, they're infamous for doing just that. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack here and get these guys destroyed. There's enough organization here to just get this done real quick. I know we're attacking across rivers and stuff, but yeah, it's fine. They'll be destroyed quickly. Alright, so Naples has been grabbed, and I think that should be it, if I'm not mistaken. That, that should be 100% right there. Yes. All right, so they're they're destroyed, guys. They should capitulate a moment here. The unfortunate part is, of course, that it went to the Allies, so we still have to take the territory, uh, but that's okay. Uh, not entirely sure why they got it over us, but now, now we'll have to go take it all back, or take it from them, I should say. It should be easy to grab all this, and then just use the tanks to kind of shoot down here as quickly as possible uh, to get Sicily taken before the British can land troops there. Uh, that's gonna be key. And then we also probably gonna want to go ahead and move these divisions, have them uh, cover an additional territory here. Looks like we did get control of all that region there. As I don't know how many divisions we'll need to cover all this territory, we'll take a look. Uh, 26, well we only have 15. Okay, a lot of ports there guys. It's one of the reasons why the Italians always have so, many difficult, so much difficulty stopping naval invasions. So let's go and get some more of these garrison troops. We'll get a uh, uh, maybe 10 more? That, that wouldn't even be quite enough. We need like 15 more. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of manpower now that we took that decision. Alright, so we'll do those 15 divisions. And uh, yeah, we're just getting all that manpower from uh, having core territory here now. Okay, so getting those wrapped up. These tanks are coming down here and taking care of all this for us. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys go here. And... Looks like the uh, Japanese faction is all coming in against us. And Peru wants a non-aggression pact. I don't think it matters because I believe they're in the Japanese faction, which means they'll still get pulled in. Uh, even if you have a non-aggression pact with somebody, they can still be pulled in. So let's go and get some troops over to here. I guess we'll just kind of double up on them. Yeah, I guess I don't know what else we would do with all these troops here. I assume that we should probably have the Yellow Army do area defense for right now, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this border here. Uh, and cover ports. Yeah, they should probably help us cover ports since there's no way we're gonna have enough of the uh, these divisions. You know what, rather than do it this way, that's kind of stupid, isn't it? Let's just throw all the yellow army into this army. Yeah, that'll be the best way to do it. Just until we get, oops, I did the wrong one. Uh, just until we, until we get those other divisions built and then they can uh, replace them. So that's what the yellow army will do. And then the blue army, I suppose, could have signed them over here. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be a good thing though. I think we'll run out of supply. I guess we'll just put them onto the, the Soviet border for right now. If they were to attack, at least we'd have some troops on the border. So we'll send them over to there. And then the red army is gonna be helping us out in Bulgaria, shooting towards their capital and taking the ports here so that no Japanese troops or anybody else can come through here. Uh, so let's have some see how we want to do this. I think we're just going to split this up some. So like have some come over here. Now I do have to fix that. So that's okay. We'll do that in a second. And then some over to here. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Not at all. 
All right, and then we'll have it like two, two, and two. Uh, so these guys here are going to be on this front. And let's get them moving forward. These guys come over here and then come down here and help us out. And then the rest of these Red Army troops. All right, so we have five assigned there. Uh, so we just want to take a couple of them and get them assigned to those other locations here. There we go. I think that leaves, yeah, one right there. All right, so that'll work. And then the Blue Army, they're going over to the, the Soviet front. Uh, though I do want them to help me grab this one province real quick. So I have them grab that. I'm going to just quickly kind of push down here. We will need a front line here. Get these guys assigned here as well. All right, excellent. So just kind of focus on trying to get Sicily done. Looks like that one Italian division has taken Palermo from the British, so we'll have to get him cut off and destroyed. I assume he's going to be trying to take over the rest of Sicily here. Let's go straight down this way. And we'll see where he's at. He might be moving over to this province now. In which case, we wouldn't want to attack him. And maybe he left. He could have left as well. It's not impossible. Gone to Africa. Oh, it's somebody else. It's not actually an Italian division here. Uh, we did get another dockyard, so let's get that assigned. Again, we're just going to have to put everything into the convoys for right now until we get those uh, the submarine techs. Not seeing any naval invasions being planned. There actually are a few divisions here. We might need a bit more than what I sent here. Potentially. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Where can we get some damn tanks? Uh, looking for the closest ones. Let's go ahead and just send a, a couple of these over here, guys. Because we don't know... That we'll be able to do this with just the two tank divisions we have. Maybe. So it's, it's a possibility. Uh, British divisions did come in here, so it's a good thing we went straight over to take this port to stop any more from coming in. But yeah, we might not have enough troops here. The the, the uh, excuse me, the Germans are coming to help us. And yeah, they just keep on pumping troops in here. It's a bummer we don't have any submarines now. We could be sinking any that were trying to come in here. So some non aggression pact offers. We're just gonna decline these. And yeah, the Germans right now are fighting Italy against, or excuse me, fighting in North Africa against Italy. And Palermo is now open, so this is going to allow us to cut these troops off. Kind of silly on their part. All right, so we do have to fight somebody there, and we did get the improved infantry equipment too. All right, so let's go after. I know we need a lot of stuff. Obviously, still need the support company here. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and get after the improved artillery upgrade. 68 days and knock that out. Alright, so just need to get Sizzly wrapped up. And then we can fast forward it. I guess we'll come over here. And... Okay, so it does seem like our relationship with China is going well. And they did just give Germany some territory. So they still are facing naval invasions. And they're probably having trouble taking these. Uh, of course, here's where the German territory is. But yeah, they're still facing these naval invasions here, here, and here. Uh, two of them have ports. Yeah, the other one does not. Still having trouble against those. Looks like the Japanese might be having trouble in the Philippines too. I think the Japanese are, are going to struggle in this campaign. Alright, so we're defending here. Let's go and attack this way and try and get to that province first with the Germans. Doesn't matter, it all goes to our territory, but whoever gets there first is the one who gets the points for for taking it. We might not have needed all those Red Army troops now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so we'll tank these guys here. And uh, let me take a look and see what we have here. Okay, we have the one infantry division. Alright, so we've taken that one. And there we go. Alright, excellent. So we're done. So now let's go ahead and make sure we have... Send two down here. Send two over here. And then three over to here. All right, excellent. So we'll have some some tanks that kind of quickly take the capital, quickly cut the Bulgarians off from their troops that are attacking Greece, and then to get the, the ports here. And also this port right here. So the tanks will be able to come down here and get that. So... We do want to take the one from Yunnan. Yeah, we'll take the uh, the peace treaty with them. Looks like the uh, 
The Spanish only have half of this, the common turn. Alright, so we ended up getting half of Sardinia, our faction. Now, we are having some more unfulfilled import request issues. Yeah, the, the steel here. Looks like they probably lost the steel that we were trading for. And there's just not a lot to be had, guys. We're just going to continue to have steel issues. However, now that we've taken Italy, what we might be able to do is, yeah, build up and get a few extra steel here in some of their their resource locations. But overall, they don't have a lot either. So, I mean, it's, it's written for extra. It's not much. I am building some civilian factories, if you see that. Uh, I feel like we need a, I want to have at least three full lines going. And it looks like we now have that from the Italian... Yeah, from, from all the Italian ones that we just got. But this will give us almost four full lines, so uh, that's good, too. Uh, what's the decision available? Just war propaganda. Say we don't need to be notified notified of that. All right, so now I think we can go ahead and put it on speed five, since, yeah, we're just waiting for this uh, claim on 16th of October. So let's just go ahead and speed it up. And also we might want to move our operatives around because we had one in Italy. So I already have one in Bulgaria. I obviously, I have one against the Soviets right now. Uh, let's go ahead and move one over to Greece, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do Greece. Uh, could also do uh, something here, uh, or or one option, although we don't have very many operatives. Uh, we could also attempt to do something against either the Bulgarians or the Soviets. I'd like to repair a collaboration government against the Soviets once we get a little bit closer to going to war with them. Yeah, I think that would be uh, helpful to do. And as far as additional operatives go, let me just take a look. Yeah, I guess we won't be getting another operative until we switch over uh, to get the, where is this at? We're gonna change out the, the silent war course once we no longer need the extra political power. And we're gonna change him over to the elusive gentleman to get one extra operative there. But other than that, you know, the, the Turks joining, you know, whenever they do finally join our faction. Let's just see what they're doing right now. Uh, that wouldn't be enough to get another operative. We'd have to have one more independent country join to get an additional operative. Here we go. Uh, so they're not going the route they're supposed to go. That's a bummer. Yeah, they're not going because they, I think it's because of this Ottoman loyalist invitation issue. And because they can't go down it, that's going to result in them not becoming... Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they're not going to be, become the Ottoman Empire. Instead, they're going to go down this route. Now, this still should hopefully result in us getting them in our faction if we so desire. Uh, but overall, yeah, this is not how we wanted this to go. Not at all. This is kind of a bummer. Uh, there are some non-aggression pact offers. I think that these non-aggression pacts are all coming from... Yeah, let me just check one of these. I guess we'll check, I know that there's, I guess Nigeria is in there. Yeah, I think these are all in the Coalition of Commonwealth States. I suppose there's no reason not to, let me just take a look, see what countries are in there that are still round. Yeah, I guess there's no reason not to get a non-aggression pact with them. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm pretty sure they're a member. So we'll go and accept this from all members here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do them as well. All right, excellent. All right, so again, just waiting until October here so we can declare war on Bulgaria and get their stuff conquered here. I'm, I'm surprised that they've been doing as well as they're they're doing over here. I know they're getting some help from their allies, it looks like. Uh, but yeah, still a bit surprised that they're, they're doing so well against the Greeks. Uh, it looked like for a while there that the Greeks were gonna win uh, my guess is that them having to protect the ports and deal with these naval invasions is which uh, kind of pushed them into a, a loss here against the Bulgarians. Uh, is Communist China in the Chinese faction this time? Yeah, they are. All right, we're going to accept that then. And nope, we're not accepting that one. <laughs> I'm about to declare war on you guys. Uh, so I don't know where their troops are, but yeah, it doesn't look like they have very many down here. This is only two. Again, I'm really surprised that uh, they've been having some success against against the Greeks. Now, these Greeks here are cut off from supply. Trotsky survived his assassination attempt, meaning he might end up becoming an advisor for the Mexicans, but uh, they're not going to be around much longer, so it's kind of irrelevant. 
Yeah, Mexico is just about defeated here. The United States having some success against them finally. Now that their uh, civil war has finished up. We did just get the new fighters. Excellent. Uh, let's go after the close air support now. And we can go ahead and build. Oh, we just want to go upgrade to get the fighter twos. Do we have enough air experience? We could get an upgrade, I think. I think it would have to do one, one, and two. And I think if we did it like this, then we lose a lot of reliability. Could just tick down the range like so. Still losing some reliability. But yeah, if we did it like this, yeah, then this would work as well. So that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and say we want those Mark 1s to build. And still really short on the resources, guys. All right. Uh, we might need to do something about that rubber. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, let's go take care of some of these other issues here first. And yeah, there's just nobody to trade with for the steel. All right. So let's build some more synthetic refineries and get them in these locations here. Oops. All right. Excellent. That'll help with the uh, rubber shortages. We did just get the home defense. That's an extra research bonus. And we finished the research up for that. I don't know if that was the best place for that research bonus to go to, if, if yeah, if that already applied. Because we might have been close to being done with that, so yeah, might not have been what we wanted. So go ahead and start working on these here or these. Let's see uh, what other options we have. Huh. Why do we not control that territory? Pretty sure we are controlling that, unless somehow it all went to the Germans. We'll have to take a look and see what the hell happened over there. So we'll get the research bonuses there, but again, I feel like getting the research bonuses down here is a little bit more important for right now. So let's go ahead and get these, get these knocked out before I end up uh, researching all those, and then we can't even use them. So we'll go ahead and start working on uh, those there. And just see if there's anything else that we want to get before we, we go down that route. We still could need to get the medium tanks. Yeah, we need to get the medium tanks, and if we research these now, then that would give us just some time to... We probably won't even build those. We'll just go straight to the next line there. We still need to get the other support companies as well. But yeah, I think we might go to get the medium tanks, guys. Go and start working on those, so we'll get them... Um, be able to get them built in 1941. We'll just go straight to the 1941 tech once we're done there. Let's take a look at the, the troops that are trained here. And maybe take a look at our equipment as well and see if we've got enough to, to build some more stuff. Yeah, we could build, I suppose we could build something. Let's take a look here. Can we build more of these? We can. All right, so let's build some more of these guys. Our Habsburg Highlanders. So build those, uh, and Ireland capitulated, so Germany did have success there. Let's go ahead and get these guys assigned to that training army there. And then we're also gonna probably build another tank unit here. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I think that's, that's it for right now. We'll take these non-aggression packs. All right. So we could deploy these tanks, I believe. Let's go ahead and do that. And then allow us to take that one infantry unit out. Jeez. And then we'll likely just go ahead and put them into this army for right here for now. Just kind of help us defend those ports until we get the rest of those troops done building. Because I don't think we'll need them here. And putting any more divisions here might just cause supply issues. Uh, they did cancel our lend lease. Apparently, we don't need that any longer. See if any troops need to be trained here. These guys could still use a little bit of training, so we will. Since we can't declare war for a couple more months here. And there's no divisions to really stop our advance. So I'm not really worried about the fact that they'll have the lower organization. Now, this did get messed up here, so let's go ahead and fix it. Just get rid of these. There we go, beautiful. Alright, so it should be, I think, two here, right? Yeah. All right, so maybe we should have had one of these over here assigned to that front. So we'll have more tanks to, to move down and take this territory. It looks like the Greeks are now having some success against them. All right, so we got the support weapons three. Excellent. So is there anything else we want to get here? Now, I know we do need the, the mechanized. Um, there's a lot of stuff we need, though. We can also improve our mountain infantry. I suppose since we're getting the medium tanks, it would be wise to get the mechanized, so we'll have those when we start building them. Yeah, I guess we'll go and get the mechanized, guys. Go ahead and just kind of start preparing for these these medium tank divisions. And, again, still having some trouble with the resources, guys. 
really not a whole lot to be done about it. Yeah, we're just gonna have to trade for it. All right, it's kind of a shame that we're getting ripped off, but uh, steel continues to be an issue. It's definitely been a problem for us. Now, we have enough divisions to have one in every province at least here on the, the Soviet border. I didn't expect that Blue Army to be enough for that. All right, just more non-aggression pack offers, and we can now change our, our government. We can go ahead and change up the manpower laws, or we can get a chief of, of navy, or we can get the ship designer. And we can't do that until we have the focus naval warfare. Okay. So we could get something here. Both of these are not great. Yeah, nothing really good here. So I think it's actually about time to go ahead and get the elusive gentleman. I don't think we really need that political power again anymore. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's go and change this up so we'll have another operative. We'll get that in about 30 days here, and then we'll get him assigned. And these guys are supposed to be training. Let's get him doing that. All right. Uh, so th this is causing more and more issues here, guys. Yep. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is now move these guys over to here and yeah I'm not sure what's going on here let's get this fixed though there we go alright so yeah just gonna continue to have problems there guys as the Greeks push forward maybe I should I ah, will just we'll just react to it as it happens if they push up this way uh, it's kind of a bummer they're now having progress here but I, and I'm not entirely sure why. Like, the Venezuelans did move over here to protect the borders, but yeah, what happened to the Bulgarian troops that were here? It's kind of strange. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But yeah, we're seeing the Greeks have more and more success. Uh, the improved artillery upgrade, we got that. That was fairly quick. Still need to get those anti-tanks and the anti-air. I suppose we should start getting that now, shouldn't we? Uh, let's start with the anti-tanks. You know what? We might not need anti-air, guys. I think we might, might just... Uh, I don't know who we'd use it against. I think the Soviets, I don't think it's going to be a problem winning the air war. You know, we'll have the, the, the Germans help. The United States, obviously, that would be very helpful whenever we do the invasion of the, the U.S., uh, but that's the far away from now. So, yeah, I think, yeah, I don't think we're going to get to anti-air, guys. You know, and we're not really going to get much of a navy, so, you know, anti-air is obviously really helpful for your ships. There's a civil war happening in Australia. Yep, a communist one. And so they're going to join the allies. I assume the, the Australians will push them back into the sea here fairly quickly, but perhaps not, uh, because they might not have any troops back home to, to take care of that. Uh, so we do have the military factories to get assigned, so we'll take a look at this. Let's see what we want to get. Still trying to get that support equipment situation dealt with. I suppose we need more infantry equipment, don't we? I've been flying through that infantry equipment. And we got another one. There we go. Excellent. Huh. Okay. Just took a little while to react to that. The uh, garrisons are taking a lot of manpower and equipment, guys. Uh, if we were to just take a look at that here, how much they're requiring. Yeah, you can see some of them requiring quite a bit. Keep all that occupied. And we are having a little bit of resistance problems as well. We got everybody on the local police force. That gets the compliance up, but it does get it up kind of slow. And the Mexicans are still declaring war on people, <laughs> despite the fact that they're... Yeah, it's just so strange, man. I guess they're trying to, like, retreat into enemy territory. Uh, take uh, other people's countries over. That's where they're going to retreat to. Alright. And... Military axis. We're going to decline that. We do have our operative, though, so it's going to get somebody hired. We get the seducer. Yeah, I think we'll get the seducer. And then let's see where we want to assign him. I suppose we can start working on a, a mission here. Yeah, let's go and start working on a mission. I suppose we'll do it against the Soviets. I don't know who else we'd use it against. Now, if we wanted to do an invasion against the British to get them knocked out of the conflict, then now would be a good time. Uh, but, you know, I, I kind of feel like... I mean, I guess we could wrap that up. How many enemy... Yeah, there's still a lot of enemy ships across here. Yeah, I think we we would need a larger uh, group of naval bombers before we did the invasion. I think we should probably do Greece next. Yeah, I think we'd do the invasion of, of the Greeks next. So we could work on getting their compliance up. I don't know if we have... I don't think we have enough to, to do the mission there. 
Let's just take a look and see how much you need to be able to do that. I think it's uh, it's 50%. So we'd have to get it up a little bit higher before we'd be able to do the compliance mission. But we should be able to get it done. Now we wouldn't be able to get it done in, uh, for Bulgaria in time. We might be able to get it done against the uh, the Greeks. So yeah, let's get this up to... Can we assign another one to speed it up? But yeah, let's get this up to 50%. Yeah, they might not have enough locations, so yeah, we can't assign them anyway there. So for now, we'll just have to work against the uh, Soviets, I guess. And just continue. Well, they're already 100%. All right, so that won't work. Uh, I suppose we'll go to London then. Just for now. All right, so Bulgaria is almost knocked out. <laughs> we haven't even declared war yet. Oh, what a bummer, man. Yeah, it's a shame. So yeah, we kind of worked on this for nothing almost. So yeah, now it's going to be... Uh, we need to, to justify we'll go against the Greeks, clearly. Go and start working on that now. That'll be 45 days. And we'll just use that force for this. Um, yeah, I, I suppose what we'll do is get like most of the green army assigned here. I don't expect we'll need very many here. And got a little bit here I don't think we'll we'll need it there there's one province there it's gonna put a division or two here and we'll just kind of attack from you know a place where we're not getting a river penalty go ahead and send some troops there and then yeah we're gonna want to put the red army troops down here as well or at least a few of them uh, so we have some that can make it towards the capital we have those over there uh, so let's just change this up a little bit Let's go ahead and take these guys and put them going. Again, probably try and race down here. Let's take a couple troops here. Probably all these guys, actually. And maybe have one of them come over this way. And then we're going to want to give these guys some offensive lines. Alright. Excellent. Okay, so they'll all get that taken care of for us. We're going to get this claim on Bulgaria, but they'll almost be defeated by the time we're able to actually declare war on them. We're talking about 16th of October here. Uh, it's just not soon enough. Uh, we get it against Greece in uh, the 16th of November, so the very next month we'll then be able to invade the Greeks. We'll have to redo our fronts a little bit. That's okay. So these guys are still training up here, those tanks. Uh, taking a look at these troops here. We could probably go ahead and deploy these now. Yeah, I think we're going to get them deployed now. Get them uh, training up. Looks like they weren't set to go into this training army here. All right, we're going to get them trained up before we put them over here. Because those troops can, can handle that, I feel. Uh, and Bulgaria just capitulated. All right, we weren't yet at war with them, so... I guess we're done trying to do that now. Yeah, I guess it's just going to be against the... The Italian, or excuse me, the Greeks at this point, because the Bulgarians have been knocked out of the conflict. Such a shame. All right, so yeah, this is all one front now. So what we can do is just delete this, and then stretch it all out again. Uh, maybe. All right, so just get them all assigned to that, and then with the uh, Red Army troops. I really feel like just racing down here is the best way to do it. We'll, we'll go ahead and take the coast up along this way so those two will stay there. Uh, but as for the Red Army, let's just yeah, get any ones that are over here. We'll move them over to here and delete many of these fronts here. So you yeah, have maybe one division come over here. There we go, beautiful. So yeah, it'll be in November that we'll be able to declare war since the Bulgarians have been knocked out of the conflict. So what we could go ahead and do is take all of these troops here, put them back into their own army here, and I might have grabbed, nope, we got just the right amount. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll just take all these guys and then have them join this army here, and then we'll just have them train, I suppose. And then that way we'll have this additional army here that we'll be able to utilize. Uh, let's, make, um, let's make them purple, and then give them an icon of some sort that we're not using. Are we using a star? No, we're not. All right, then have these guys help us out down here. Yeah, looks good. In fact, it might be better to have the uh, the green army change up their front here. 
And then they can just go that way. And then we'll have the blue army take care of all this for us. All right, excellent. And then let's start purple army, excuse me. All right, uh, so we do need to give them a commander. And there we go. So they'll have to get moved over here. Hopefully they'll be here in time. When we declare war on the Greeks, that will also result in Portugal joining, uh, Portugal joining the conflict. So maybe the Germans will do a naval invasion there, maybe not. Let's see what happens there. We did finish up our national focus there. We got that nice research bonus for the infantry equipment. Let's go ahead and get, you know what, let's get this bonus here. That'd be nice to have. All right, non-aggression pact that we will sign. All right, so yeah, we're just waiting until we get this here in November, mid-November, and we'll invade the Greeks. And then after that, it'll be the Soviets. There'll be nobody else unless we do an invasion of the British, uh, which we might do. Uh, in fact, we might want to go ahead and change up our where our, our naval bombers are and start working on on bombing the English Channel here. Uh, let's just see if we have any extra ones we can get assigned over there. Yeah, we actually do have some. Uh, so we could on increase these these numbers by like a hundred. We can also attempt to, to bomb here to see if we're have, would have any success there. Let's take a look and see where the enemy ships are. We do need to go into the naval view here and just see where they're at. So it looks like bombing the English Channel. The Bay Biscay would be effective as well. There are a few ships there. Probably not enough to make it worth it. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to bomb these two areas. Now, could end up uh, having some problems with British fighters, so we'll have to send some fighters of our own. I don't know if we'll be able to have enough, though. And let's go ahead and send... Who holds... Is, Spain holds all that? Yeah, Spain holds all that. So we'll have to use these naval bombers here. And like one there we go beautiful and then get them bombing here all right so they'll do that and then we might want to send some fighters down there we do have fighters that are going to be here against the greeks uh we could put some more uh yeah let's go and bring more uh, we have a few let's take these guys here have them help us in the english channel while these guys are going to come here so they'll help us out there and what we might want to do is just stop that for right now. And then these close air support will also help us out here. All right, excellent. So I think we're good. We do have more planes, I think. I think we have more fighters we could get assigned out there. So we'll probably do that. Let me take a look at the close air support. Close air support, we could get an air wing of like, yeah, 200 out there if we wanted to. So I suppose we will. I'm looking for the fighters here. Looks like they're all old fighters but I suppose we could put them out there. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and, and get a couple air wings here. We'll do an air wing of uh, close air support, and we'll do 200 of those. And we'll wait to have them fly overhead, of course, so we actually do the invasion. And then let's also go ahead and get some fighters assigned here, whatever we got. Uh, again, it's probably gonna be older planes, and we'll probably only do an air wing of 100. All right. Uh, so they'll help us out in this area. Uh, so let's let this play, get all those planes moved, and let's take a look and see if we, yeah, we got our planes over here. So we'll have to see if we have any success bombing the British ships. Looks like already we've taken out a convoy. Excellent. So yeah, we have just the range to reach the entire region here, it looks like. Fantastic. So we'll have to see how we end up doing. Hopefully we don't take very high casualties there in the air. We'll just have to wait and see. We did uh, hit something else here, got another convoy. All right, fantastic. So we are actually gonna have to end the episode there. Uh, we'll wait until we get here in November. Uh, looks like we did take, yeah, we already lost a plane there. That's okay. So we'll get into November, and uh, remember we'll be declaring war against the Greeks in mid-November. Uh, so let's go through all this real quick. Get our factories assigned, and we should probably take a look and see what the uh, situation is looking like. You know, 10,000 infantry equipment. I bet a lot of that is old equipment, though. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet most of that is old, old equipment. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it up to, to eight factories here. Now, that is costing us a lot of steel that we just can't get. Uh, we can trade with the Turks for a bit more. We'll do that. Uh, we'll, no point on trading with Spain since we're about to go to war with them. Or the, the Greeks. Yeah, I just can't get the, the resources we need, guys. It's problematic. 
And again, there's just no steel in any of the regions that we really have. Now we can build in Poland, but yeah, there's there's not really a lot of resources here either. I mean, get a little bit there. But again, just not able to get the, the resources we need. There's just not enough steel, man. Get a couple more there. But yeah, we're so desperate. We're building up infrastructure for two steel, one steel. Because uh, there's just nobody to trade with. That's what the main issue is. So again, I'm, I'm thinking we might end up having to trade, uh, change up our trade laws. Just so we don't have as many problems with the steel. Uh, but yeah, that is actually going to be the end of today's episode. Take a look at the Germans. Look at this. The Germans have almost all of Africa now. Uh, they're pushing into Egypt. Yeah, they've gotten much of Egypt already. They have control of the Suez Canal. And now they're pushing into the Middle East. So the Germans are going to be taking over all Africa there. Uh, let's just take a look at our current uh, casualties and our, our, our participation. So now we're only at 26 participation. Uh, so that's not great. It's more than Germans. It's probably more than anybody else. You know, Soviets are at 15%. Uh, a little bit surprised by that. I don't know what they've occupied so far. And who are they even fighting? Yeah, what have they occupied? Maybe they're being counted for helping on one of these fronts here. One of their allied fronts. Maybe the Spanish one, perhaps. Maybe helping in Mexico. I don't know. Uh, so, looking at other countries that have high percentages, really nobody does. Yeah, it's really just the Soviets, and then there's the Greeks, of course, and that'll be irrelevant since we're about to knock them out of the conflict. So we're still number one, but yeah, not quite uh, anywhere near as high as I'd like to see that. Alright guys, so that is going to be the end of today's episode. Doing better on trying to get the, the Germans pushed out here, because now we have more factories. So now it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them to, to seize control of the leadership. We'll just keep on building those factories up, and uh, hopefully they won't be able to take that from us. So that we can remain the leader of the Central Powers in control of much of Europe right now. And with this war against Greece, uh, you know, this will obviously take control of all this here and put us onto the Turkish border. And then it's just uh, Spain, the Low Countries, Portugal, of course there's Switzerland, they're always there. And then uh, I guess you got this whole region here up in the north and the British. So we still got a lot left before all of Europe is in the Central Powers. Uh, but yeah, we're going to end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next episode. And thanks for watching.